Hello friends, do you think essay writing is an Herculean task for you? I don't think so. I am Dhawal Nirmohi going to teach how to write good essay and how to score well in Pearson test of English. That is the most important thing that we are going to discuss in today's session. So in essay writing, there are some technical details that you have to aware about. First thing, essay format, essay identification, introduction writing, body paragraph building, concluding remark, thesis statement, how to write topic sentence. So these are the technicalities of any essay writing. So we are going to start today's session with the basic format. So in essay format, you can see from the screen, introduction, then body paragraph one, body paragraph two, and conclusion. So in each and every essay, you have to follow the structure. For example, here there is a question, but always pay attention to the tagline of essay. For example, here it is discuss both these view and give your opinion. This is the most important thing that you always pay attention. In each and every essay, there are four parts introduction, body paragraph one, body paragraph two, and conclusion. There are some technicalities that should be aware about the essay writing. So what was that? and how to improve in this that we are going to discuss in today's session. So some people work for the same organization all their working life, while other think that it is better to work for various organizations. Discuss both the view and give your opinion. In two or three minutes, you have to write the two favorable point of either side. That is the most important thing that you always have to understand. Always think about the example first, then try to derive the point. Now, how to write good introduction? What is the body paragraph building exercising? And what, what are the main criteria that we should keep in our mind while we are writing inclusion? So, here as you can see, in introduction, there are four sentences that you should aware about. First, hook statement. Second, paraphrasing. Third, impersonal phrase or transition sentences and finally thesis statement there are two sentences that are most important first paraphrasing and second thesis statement these are the most important portion that you always pay attention to that in introduction there are four sentences as i mentioned earlier hook paraphrasing impersonal phrase and thesis statement thesis statement means what you are going to write in your essay that you are clearly mentioning to the exam. So for the introduction building, you should be very good in the hook statement writing, paraphrasing and thesis statement. These are the heart of any introduction. First of all, to announce the topic to the reader, this is the role of hook statement. Second thing, paraphrasing, reflect the judgment about the topic and finally thesis statement. To provide the reader with a blueprint of what is to come in the essay further. So if you are not writing thesis statement properly, there may be a chance that you may lose the marks. Here, there is an example of introduction building. In this, there are four sentences. As you can see, the debate over blank is an old one. So this is the hook statement. In the blank, you can fit any words. Then in the green sentence, you can see paraphrasing of the given question. In the blue sentence, you can see the impersonal phrase, general observation, transition sentence, and finally the thesis statement with the opinion. So with the help of these sentences, you can make a powerful introduction of any essay. How to construct powerful body paragraph? In body paragraph, there are many sentences like Topic sentence, idea placement, idea expansion, example, point two, and conclusion. So you should aware about these points and you can score well with the understanding of these sentences. Topic sentence. Topic sentence gives the idea to the examiner that what is there in the body paragraph one. Idea placement. So whatever the two points you have mentioned that you have to place with the proper transition words and then you can improve in the body paragraph. You have to expand the idea. You have to give the example. That is the mandatory thing. And you have to conclude the paragraph as well. So 
both the structure of body paragraphs are same and please friends understand one thing that you have to quote an example in both the paragraphs how to plan your writing so first of all you have to understand the two points and then you have to exemplify with the proper sentences and proper words so what are the words so here you can see if you are quoting an example so you have to write for example for instance to illustrate and so on if you are setting a chronology for the sentence so firstly secondly in addition moreover and so on if you are putting addition point so you can write furthermore in addition moreover and so on if you are writing an opposing idea to the given statement so you can use on the other hand in contrast however and so on so these are the most important transition for example here you can write in other words in essence and so on but while you are writing in conclusion you can use this two word and we have to write only one conclusion so for that in conclusion or to conclude are it so you don't need to focus upon the other words so here as you can see this is the topic sentence so there are numerous advantages associated with working in the same form this sentence gives the idea about the topic to the examiner the student is writing about the working in the same form and first point and second point is written with the help of firstly and secondly this is because there is the expansion of first point and for example means example of second point the most important thing that student always have to understand you can develop any point with the help of these words this is because and there is no rule that you can not expand the second point but you always have to put example in each paragraph that is the rule and you have to conclude your comment with so therefore thus hence that kind of words so with the help of first sentence the examiner will come to know that okay the student is writing about the advantage or uh, pros of working in the same form then first point is promotion and second point is job security so without reading your rough work the examiner will come to know that okay firstly and secondly this are the point and this is because that is the example and if you are quoting an example with for example so the examiner will con consider this as an example so since this is the concluding remark so this is the answer of the given topic sentence so you have to understand this uh, basic skeleton and you can put the idea in that and then after in the body paragraph 2 i have written every garden has weight so for those who wish to score more marks in the test for them you can write idioms and phrases as well and you can use the different discourse marker for example here i have used this firstly so here to begin with here secondly so here in addition here there is this is because so you can use this is due to and so so here it is therefore so you have to use this transition verb in the alternation that is the most important thing if you are not using this kind of words and you are doing repetition that it is not good to do it finally conclusion conclusion is the most important part you cannot write anything in conclusion whatever you have written in body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 that only you can write in conclusion with a different one that means restate your opinion and the comments so here as you can see this is the fix frame and in this fix frame you can see there is a black skeleton and red skeleton so in black skeleton you can see there is a opinion i however am of the firm opinion person should stick to the job for the five years so this is the answer or my side right whatever the question that has been given to you you can take any side of discussion and then you can add two points of body one or body two with the not only but also so this is the most important thing that you always have to understand you cannot add new point in conclusion whatever the point you have mentioned in body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 you can write with the help of proper grammatical structures so once your essay is ready it will look like this so all the details are there means hook statement paraphrasing impersonal phrase thesis statement topic sentence firstly 
idea expansion second point for example concluding remark and so on so with the help of this kind of writing you can improve in your pt but the most important thing you always have to keep in mind that you have to write essay in 20 minutes and you can you have to write minimum 200 and maximum 300 words so these are this is the most important criteria that you always keep in your mind and you have to improve your typing skill so this is it from my side thank you friends for your support